Hey, it's Jim at Bullion RV in Duluth. All that blue behind me is blue sky. I'm telling you what, we are in shock here at the tip of Lake Superior because this is the nicest day we've had in a long time. I'm proud to say it's 33 degrees and the puddles are puddles instead of ice rinks. You have clicked, as you know, on the Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26RBL. Very, very nice travel trailer. Just over 6,000 pounds dry. Most half tons could handle it pretty easily. Let's take a look at it. Battery, LP, power tongue jack. Nice big beautiful pass through storage and lots of room in there. Of course this is a laminate siding, a aluminum frame, two inch welded aluminum frame. No wood in the walls, that's a good thing. Walk around, last of our remaining snow banks here. Outdoor shower. Freshwater connection, plug-in, your gray tank, black tank, sewer outlet stuff here. Comes with a spare tire. There is already a backup camera up there above those iconic Cherokee Alpha Wolf by Forest River Graphics. It's a sharp looking coach. Over on the campsite, you can see camp kitchen. Big, big awning. Some cool looking LED lights, speakers, spot for a television. Take a closer look. Ice maker. Spot for a stove or whatever you'd like here. Spot for, I mean it is a fridge, I almost said spot for a fridge. That would have been ridiculous. It's a spot for Castle Danger Cream Ale is what it is. Nice little bar sink out here. There's a light in there. Neat little spot for hospitality. Some sharp looking wheels there. Set apart a little bit. There's where your TV can go. There's those graphics again. And over on the other side of the pass through storage, we see the battery disconnect, the solar charge controller, leash latch, and this does have the underbelly armor on it. Let's take a look inside. Go up the solid steps, grab that big door handle here. The dry weight on this, I stand corrected, is under 6,000 pounds, 5,936 pounds. This camper has some nice storage surprises. Storage surprise number one, you can see it's even labeled. It says pantry, pull it open. It's enormous. I mean, there's room for months of Captain Crunch in there. Months, I tell you. If you look around here, sharp looking rig. Let's dive into it. Sofa pulls out, of course, and it faces the electric fireplace and the spot for the fir or for the television, excuse me. Television's not included on this one. AM FM radio. Some storage up above here. Here is the big, enormous U-shaped dinette. Of course, that converts into a bed as well. Storage surprise number two and 2A are the big drawers underneath those benches. And I mean big drawers. There's a joke in there somewhere. But I'm not the kind of person to make a joke about big drawers. This 
is that zebra shade, which is very cool. You can let a lot of light. You can have it be very dark. You can have it somewhere in between. Love it. Over here on the other side, the fridge from General Electric. And fittingly, it's an electric fridge. Conventional oven, three three burner propane stove, dual purpose back splash cutting board that sticks to the wall via a magnet. Working hood fan vented outside, microwave, storage. Big, big sink, cool looking faucet with the sprayer. Very nice there. Three drawers there. And into the bedroom. Nice big bed. Room around all sides of it. Hanging storage on both sides. Both sides have a little table and an outlet for your or your spouse's CPAP machine. An electric outlet on both sides, USB outlet on this side. Wired for a television here, the TV backer. You could mount the television right here. A couple of hooks there, very nice. Get a shot of this nice big floor. No vents in the floor to collect dirt and dust and dog hair. Makes it easy to clean. And to the rear bathroom, there's a barn door. Nice big medicine cabinet, nice big sink for a bathroom and a camper. Stool here. Shower with the skylight. Not so nice that the sun is out. Big shower. Lots of room in this bathroom. Look at that. And here is storage surprise number three. Look at there, all kinds of space there. All kinds of space for your linens, your clothes, anything you wanted to hide. Here's that Max fan in the bathroom, which is a big deal. Very, very nice. If you're unfamiliar with Bullion RV in Duluth, uh, we've been here since the 1950s. We're not riding the wave of the RV boom, not just, we just didn't jump into the fray. Recently, you've been here all along, through thick and through thin. Uh, I've been here about a year and a half, but I've heard a lot of stories about the thin as well. Uh, Bullion RV is a family-run business, third generation. There are three Bullions inside right now, working and working hard.